Because and good morning to you. God is good. I'm happy to be alive. Uh, here we have something strange. No people just like to complain. Well, let me let me just say. Why complain? Why complain? Numbers chapter 21 and verse 4 says, And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God and against Moses, Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loathed this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore uh, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord, take ye away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. Why complain? Watch. Human beings, you can give them food with a gold spoon and do everything for them. Bathe them, powder them, feed them. Give them vacation package. Do everything, human beings. And you know they will still search for something to complain. Yeah, here it is. You'll be surprised to know that the people who have a lot are the people who complain the most. And the people who just existing day by day, surviving day by day, they are making the most of what uh, they have and sometimes there the people have a smile on their face and have the sense of humor. Yeah, but the children of Israel, they are unfair to God and to Moses. God has delivered them from Egyptian bondage and God has given them uh, everything for them to be happy about. A cloud, a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Uh, the Egyptian army that was supposed to destroy them, uh, God annihilate them in the Red Sea. And then further, this is the one that hits me. The children of Israel are out of slavery and they do not have to pay tax. Further, they have food. I call it angel food on a daily basis. And on Friday, they have extra that they pick up so that Saturday, Sabbath, when it is not falling, they have extra food to last them over the weekend. Well, what more they wanted? But yet they complain. Now, I noticed something. Uh, they used to complain all the time against Moses. Moses represents God. But now they get a little bolder and they complain against Moses and God. And it looks as if God is saying, uh, listen, y'all want something to complain about? Well, I'm going to send serpents, poisonous serpents to deal with you. And then they make the comparison of what their life was before and what it is now that serpents are biting them. You know, when we get a chance to compare our lives, then we really see that we are blessed. That's why on a daily basis, you must be able to count your blessings and see what good things the Lord has done for you. The more you count your blessings, the less you will complain. So they came to Moses and they stopped complaining and ask Moses to call upon God and to pray on their behalf. Brothers and sisters, as we go through life, friends, as we go through life today, stop complaining and search for things to say thanks to God for. And within your families, husbands and wives, parents and children, stop complaining and search for things to say thanks honey, thanks my child, thanks dad, thanks mom. Find things 
to say thanks to God for and to family members for. God and Father, help somebody to stop the complaining attitude and to thank you more. And within our households and workplaces, help us to be more grateful to those who are nice and kind to us. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. There's a land that is fairer than this And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweetness sweet by and by Oh